Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're carrying on with our Lord Skrulk campaign. And finally, finally, we're face to face with our arch nemesis, Gorty. Yeah, I don't know who the hell Gorty is, but hey, we're about to do the uh, uh, Rod of Corruption mission, which is awesome. So uh, we're going to do that, and then we'll have a Rod of Corruption. And that's good, presumably. It is, it's really good. Let's do it. Such a paradise. Unblemished. Pure. It must be gifted the touch, touch of pestilence. That the reptile things attack me, me for this is blasphemy. Lead me to the crimson skull so I make it powder and restore my rod of corruption. Yes, yes. Let us begin. Yes, yes. Excellent. So uh, we have uh, a couple of catapults. <laughs> you know, we have a handful of catapults. Uh, right, you guys, let's get you out in front. We have a ludicrous amount of plague knights. And uh, clan rats with shields. I'm going to put on one side because I'm pretty sure. I don't think I'm from behind. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get attacked by feral cold ones at some point. So, I'm just going to throw the, the clan rats in the way. Hopefully they can handle it. God, look at all these. So many. So many. So many. Uh, so I'm enjoying it, as I'm sure you can tell. I'm, I'm enjoying the, the ludicrous number of catapults that we have at our disposal. It's, um, yeah. It's fun. And also, if I hold spacebar, it looks like we have twice as many. It shows a preview where they're going to end up. It's very odd it does that. It does that for artillery, but it doesn't do that for any other unit. I guess it's just harder to tell where the artillery would be. With just like a little glyph. You know. Okay, they're coming from over there, and it seems to be quite a few of them, huh? Oh god, Anacarnasaur. Okay, there's quite a lot over there. Uh, we're going to go over there. Actually, you stay where you are. And Skrulk is going to go down <laughs> the aisle. That's right, we have an aisle. Because I reckon Liba Bubonicus here might be what we want to use on the Feral Carnosaur. Uh, also, I just realised we're actually attacking the Croxicores. <laughs> and we've almost got them. That's how you know your catapults... Uh, are a little bit much when they are taking out monstrous infantry by accident. That is hilarious. Uh, boom. Uh, so this is fine. This is fine. Let's use Wither. And let's hit that Feral Carnosaur, shall we? See how that does. Yeah, it wasn't great. I didn't think it would be. But I wanted to try. Because with them having... Uh, actually, still 60 armor with Wither. You know, still quite a lot. Still quite a bit. I was thinking it was lower. But it wasn't. It was higher. Cool story, bro. <laughs> so. Let's see. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Got rid of a lot of the temple guards. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Okay, good. He's finally... Finally had it. Let's imbue poison on all those guys. I think the clan rats are doing okay against the feral cold ones. Which is surprising, because, I mean, look at them. Look at them! God, I love the green on the clan rats, actually. Pestilence has some of the coolest looking clan rats. Uh, well, this is a bit of a mess, but we seem to be doing okay. I don't understand how Skrulk is doing as well as he's doing. But I'm not going to knock it. Uh, so you guys do what you can on that plank, I suppose. Do I want to get more units in here? Maybe. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Uh, also, I'm going to try something a little bit uh, unique here. We're going to try and kill this ancient Stegodon with catapults. <laughs> on, 
Just sort of guy out. Oh god. This strikes me as a terrible idea. And I'm so glad we're doing it. He's quite a big target. He is quite a big target, you know. And everywhere else seems to be doing great. Oh, you can double back. Oh my god. He's a very big target. We're doing big damage to him. But I feel like we might be doing more damage to our own units here. But, uh... This amuses me. So I don't, I don't care. <laughs> oh, what a mess. I mean, we're, we're getting through him. We are getting through him with the artillery. We shouldn't be. But we are. Let's go with the Lever Bubonicus. And that should probably finish him off. And, wow, a unit's been wiped out. Oh, that was a summoned unit. We're fine. I thought we were in a lot of trouble there. I mean, we're definitely probably going to lose. We're definitely, probably, going to lose some units. Let's hit these guys again. And, yeah, off he goes. Off he goes. Excellent. Alright, now let's try hit these Temple Guard, because we actually kind of need to save Skrog. And, wow, those clan rats did a great job. Genuinely, they did great. Proud of them. They're going to run, aren't they? Sure are. They sure are. Oh, we should probably stop them from killing them. Oh, army losses. We're good. We did it. We're the greatest. <laughs> We're not. That was sloppy as hell. <laughs> so worth it. Taking out a uh, feral... Uh, not a feral stegodon. An ancient stegodon with plague claw catapults. Not advised. This is, this is really not what these are for. If we had warp lightning cannons, then yeah, by all means. But, um... I mean, they still pack a wallop, is the thing. So, yeah. Absurd. But, um... Sometimes just numbers alone. Numbers alone will do it. Marvellous. Uh, so let's eat the captives. Oh, actually, should I go with food instead? Because I'm going to have good replenishment anyway. I'm going to teleport back to where I was. So, um, uh, I'm going to have food. And then we're going to have the Rod of Corruption. Oh, we're not getting replenishment back where we were because we're not in friendly territory where we are. In that case. Yeah, just stand there. That's big replenishment. And I want it. So, uh, done. Job done. Here we are. The flail of Skrulk is a rusted pitted ball of miasma that spreads poxes as it swings. So this makes Wither cheaper by two, which is very nice. It also puts up hero capacity for Plague Priests and Eshin Sorcerers as well. Um, although I think, do they share? I think they might share a hero cap, actually, now that I think about it. Um, and we've got the Rod of Corruption, which is really good. Just does big damage in a, in a, in a ring around uh, where you target. I, I think you can click where you want it. I don't think it's around... Uh, no, around self. Around self. It is around Skrog. I always forget. So, cause there's, I think there's a few abilities that used to work around the person, and they changed it so you could target where you want to drop it. Um, like a lot of the, the Dwarven runes. Dwarven, rather. Uh, a lot of the Dwarven runes were, like, it used to be around the, the caster. That changed. So I wasn't sure. Anyway, let's have a look here. So Wither is cheaper, so it might be worth getting more of that. Um, let's get more of that, then we'll get... Oh, we actually have more experience, so I get blessed with filth as well. Uh, I mean, Vermintide's great, but we've got a, we've got someone who's doing that anyway. Oh, except... Uh, oh, there's Pestilent Birth. I was going to say, so that he doesn't have Pestilent Birth. It's literally right there. <laughs> Pestilent Birth is what lets us get the uh, Plague Monks. So the idea of him summoning clan rats, like, eh, not really worth it when he can summon plague monks. Don't want to waste my uh, magic when I could use, you know, plague or pestilent breath or something. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's do Bless with Filth, because you do actually use that. And we just got uh, Vistrin's Death Squad and the Council Guard. I mean, the Council Guard are actually not a bad one, um, depending, because if we are doing the, the job of the council, then maybe the council guard... Yeah, it makes sense to be able to recruit them. So, so that might be a regiment of renown that we'll actually bother getting. Uh, yeah, still don't need that. So how much longer? 
Uh, six more turns. Oh, that's taken a while. That has taken a while. And, oh, we're going to lose that 25 growth after a while anyway, so maybe we won't be able to get that, but... We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so, Vortex Ritual, we are not doing. Uh, Itza is in great shape by the looks of it. Yeah, let's just crack on. Okay, so, Skrulky Boy. And we can reach by the looks of it. Brilliant. That is all I've ever wanted. And, okay, it's mostly slaves. Good. Guess this is ours then. Hello, it's me. Uh, so I could just auto-resolve this. I'm not sure I'd need to really worry about this. Just sort of disparate clan rats and, and skaven slaves. Yeah. I'm not going to lose any units. I, just, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care to waste my time on that. Uh, tier 3 is actually exactly what I was thinking. Uh, we'd take it on. In fact, I can't take it at a lower level. Of course, because it's Skaven Settlement. I always forget about that. I always forget about that. Because I did mention in a previous episode, when you take a settlement over, it's always Tier 1. And then you have to invest food in it. But if it's a Skaven Settlement, then you don't. Because really, it's it's not about the, the level of the settlement that you're taking over. It's the level of the, you know, of the Skaven Settlement beneath the settlement that you have taken over, you know. Which is a little bizarre when you think about it. Because you could just take the tunnels under Itza and build a city under Itza, right? But no, you have to destroy Itza first, and then you can build a settlement. When actually Skaven tend to do better when they are underneath a living settlement, because then they have a source of food and, um, you know, warp stone and all sorts, you know. You can you can manipulate the people above the ground. But. So it's a little backwards in this game, but it's about conquering stuff, so I get it, you know. I get it. Gotta make concessions somewhere, right? gameplay has to has to work so you guys will run off that's good they'll attack again in a second i'm sure now uh, let's have a look uh could, could yeah could get pestilent birth but I, I i do really want arcane conduits i do need to get this stuff so i think we will or i could get scouting i would i would like more magic uh items and we've also done Destroyed and Capture, so we finally have the Ultra of the Horned Rat. And we've secured another province. This province was a lot easier to take than the other provinces so far, so that's nice. Uh, well, we want to repair the dock, obviously. We can't get rid of that. But the Overseer's Lookout and the Breeding Pit. You know what? I keep the Breeding Pit, actually. Or do I want to? Maybe I don't. It's really tough to know. Whether I want to keep this or not. Because I need to build the unique building. Uh, this one. You know, the warpstone deposit. So I can actually get warpstone out of it. But I would also like to build the garrison building here as well. So I think I may have to... I mean, if I've got those two things, then we're, we're fine, really. And we've had a talisman of endurance. Fantastic. That's really good, actually. Let's give that to you. Uh, boom. Talisman of Endurance. Oh, we can put the uh, Bell Polisher on this guy as well. So we can get extra Plague Priests. See, this is great. This is the sort of thing I want to see more of. Just various things that put up hero capacity. Because building to have heroes just means you always have to build wide rather than tall. Um, although I guess you could argue that actually you can build tall um, for heroes anyway. Because you unlock better hero capacity when you build tool. But I think you guys know what I mean, right? It's just, um, unless you're getting a bunch of stuff to tier 5, then you're sort of stuck with the amount of heroes you can have. And it means you're having to spam incredibly elite buildings in places just to enable recruitment? And that feels a bit, I don't know. That that feels like it's, it's a different rule for that over other recruitment. Because there's like global recruitment and stuff, and then you're having to actually build all the recruitment buildings based upon like the ability to put up your hero capacity which it just feels backwards to me so yeah followers that you could equip on heroes to put up hero capacity that's really good you know that's all good stuff I like it uh, so let's end the turn oh no Locus finally yep he's finally decided to declare war 
He's taken the whole cape. It's a real problem. And we've got problems in the north as well. And this is annoying because it's slowing down replenishment. So that's that's a bother. So let's get rid of Ixstone, the irksome Ixstone. And an opposing ritual has been complete. Uh, harsh production quotas give you the extra growth, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, it means nothing if Skaven slows die meeting a quota. There will always be more, many more, where they came from. And yep, that's all lovely. Clan Spittle has been spat out. Shroud of Dripping Death gives plus 10% weapon strength for assigned units. That's quite nice. Though, um... Let's see. Not sure I want to get rid of any of this. Actually, the leadership one's rubbish. Let's give him the Shroud. Lovely. And now let's level you up. Uh, Warpstone tokens would be nice. For extra magic in the tank. But I also really want to get to um, Plague and, and eventually Arcane Conduit. So I'll come back for Warpstone tokens later. And scouting maxed out. Good. Marks the old ones. I can upgrade. And yeah, still still same old. Uh, but we're rolling in money right now. So, nope. Spells of Plague, please. Wow, this sucks. Um, these are not great. These are not great. But there's only level 1 as well. It's very sad. I mean, I guess I go with the leadership one. It's just... It's a bit rubbish. So, recruit a lord. Good. More, more! More, more lord. More, more lord. It's like marmalade, but it's made out of people from New Zealand, I suppose. Uh, could get some of these from Global. It's going to take a little while, and it does cost a fortune, but I'm happy to spend a fortune, so um, recruit away. Oh dear, that's scary. Oh, that's a problem. Although I do have walls everywhere now, right? Yeah. So they will have to push through little choke points. Oh, blessed carnosaurs as well. Um, I mean, I do have rat ogres, which are very good for blocking in those sort of units and doing good armor-piercing damage. And then I've just, I guess, just clan rat spears will have to do it. Ugh. Yeah, this could be a little rough. But I outnumber them at least. I do outnumber them at least. So there is that. There is that. I mean, like sixteen garrison size. Oh, and here's Godok. Crap. I'm going to have to go back for Godok before I head south. So yeah, it's just going to be Slice in the Blade and the incredibly crappy garrison we'll have to hold here against um, these ruddy pirates. They're doing very well. They really have, like... I mean, all of this is a large chunk of the territory that I want. Other than that, I just want to move up this coast. I don't even necessarily need to move up this coast. But... I have a feeling once I start conquering this stuff, um, Kalida's going to take exception to me. And and Teclis probably will too at some point. So usually going up this way, I think, is usually a good idea. Especially because there's more ritual resources up here. So, yeah, I think we will be conquering up to here as well. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, really hoping Ikiklaw puts the work in, though. Make this quick, fast. I'm busy. That's not great. Strength rank 45. Then I guess we're at 47, so he's doing better than I am. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, Blessed Dread is, is actually the, the superpower in this part of the world, which is interesting. Alright, research available. Let's have a look. Uh, plague Priests. And, yeah, Plague Monks. Um, melee attack, etc. Let's do all that. Sounds good to me. Oh, and we'll upgrade. Wow, that's 53 turns to get to there. Because I have to go through all this too. Although, extra armor for clan rat sounds really good. So, so what's he going to do? He's going to do that one, then that one, then that one, then this one, then that one, then that one, then this one. Cool. So this is going to take forever, but actually, looking around, all of this stuff is really good. I like all of this. Oh, except that, but that's not active. Okay, yeah, so I like everything. I like everything it's giving, so 53 turns? Fine. 53 turns it is. 
Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, what's really annoying is this thing here, the Warlock Engineer. Uh, the building that it creates if you use it to establish Undercities, which is what I wanted to do with that. It's really, it, it's really good because it actually puts up your research rate. As well as a few other bits and bobs that I can't remember, but it's um, just the research rate alone is really handy. To set up those every, uh, you know, every 30 turns. I'm so annoyed that we lost that first one to like a cliff face or something. It's really bizarre. But oh well. It is what it is. Let's move on. Another ritual has been completed. And Slice in the Blade has low loyalty. Despite the fact I'm giving him units, which is a bit annoying. And there we go, more food uh, capacity and uh, generation, which is nice. And I can't quite reach Gorok this turn, which is a bother. Uh, his army we can handle, because we gave him the plague. <laughs> uh, douche. Uh, okay, so virulent plans. Virulent indeed. And how many more turns do I can upgrade this? Another three. Ugh. Taking forever. Okay, I guess what I'll do is, like, move him to here and put him in ambush stance and hope that Gorok just sort of runs into it. Because uh, I realise that Ultra the Horned Rat is super vulnerable and will definitely get taken. I might just have to be tired instead. I can't reach that. What? Okay, so I can get from the Ultra the Horned Rat to the Marks the Old One in a turn, but not the other way around. I guess because he's in the way of the road. I can get within range, so if he does try and attack it, I'll have reinforcements, but... Still, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Prefer to set up an ambush or something. It'll have to do. Right, so that's fine. Uh, let's start queuing up some buildings. So that way I don't have to, um, you know, sit on top of it for the rest of time. Uh, this bothers me, though. This could be a problem. It really could. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little bit concerned here. Because I don't know what the rest of this army is. But it could, if it's like all Croxigors, then I just don't know how I'm going to stop them. Ugh. Yeah, it's going to be painful. Not going to be easy. Not going to be easy. But hey, we'll be fine. We'll make it work, guys. We'll make it work. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Perhaps. We'll make it work. Oh, we might be able to get to him before he decides to actually attack, so... I'm not too worried about that now. So, ah, here we go. Uh, attrition for the army. I'd rather not. But I'd also rather not lose any more loyalty. The filthy, sickly fiends of Clan Pestilence have come and are asking for us uh, to help in their great endeavour to spread disease right across the old world. They house sickness within them and ask us to do the same. Uh, which is sort of bizarre because we are Clan Pestilence. So, um... This should be a good thing for us. It's only one turn, but I, pro I bet it's quite high attrition. And I can't move the camera, so I can't see if he's anywhere near anything threatening. I find these events are quite annoying in the fact that you don't get the information you need. Even though you could have taken stock, you know, if you didn't have, uh, uh, like, the uh, turn timer sped up, you know? If it showed all movements, then you'd see if someone walked into your territory and stood next to him. But if you want to just expedite the process and play the game a bit faster, suddenly you're locked out of having the information you need, which I think is needlessly punishing. Um, so I think just it pausing the camera like this and making it so this can't just be pushed to one side is really annoying. I think it's really frustrating. I hope that is something that's remedied in game three. But we'll see. We'll see. I do like these events in general, but uh, the fact you, you can't look around and actually take stock of, um, of the decision of, you know, the, the information surrounding the decision, anyway. Because I don't even know what his loyalty is on, so I don't know. I don't know what his loyalty is on, either. So I, I don't know if plus three is, or minus one is bad. I, I have no idea. But anyway, we'll infect the man. And we just got it again. Oh, good. This strain of disease must be from the southern clans, for it is too potent even for us. The rats are dropping like, well, like diseased rats. What do we do? Uh, endure the sickness. Good boy. Yeah, that's fine. We have really good um, replenishment rates, so it's, it's whatever. 
so if I tell you guys to attack, what's the chances? Uh, so it's mostly red crested skinks, which are quite good. But they favour the armor piercing um, values, which generally means they do less damage. Like overall, you know, in total, they obviously do more damage against armored things. But I'm not armored. These guys have very low armor. So it just means they're doing less damage overall. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. But, yeah, they do beat us out on, like, just... Just, just their weapon stats. The fact they got poison. I think I think they can beat us, like, one-on-one -on -one Red Crested Skinks against Clan Rats, currently. But, yeah. Oh, actually, we will have loads of additional troops that we can summon, so... I don't think it's the end of the world. I, th I think if they attack us, we can we can win. It really just depends on whether we can handle stuff like the Carnosaurs and the Croxigors at the gate. Ugh, oh, come on. Please say I can reach. Oh, I can reach. And is he going to... Uh, he is going to fight. Brilliant. Close victory. I don't think I need to fight this. Weapon strength plus 10%. All right, to you, I suppose. I'm giving them to random people. It, it sort of doesn't matter. Uh, and that magic resistance, I actually want Scrog to have. Because people like Godok, okay, Godok doesn't, so bad example. But a lot of characters have, um, there's like special weapons. Do magic damage, you know? Or just random things that they found while running around have magic damage. So it just lets you sort of duel, sort of, you know, any big dueling characters. It just gives you big resistance against damage from them. Which is really good, um, and that's why in game three, magic resistance doesn't exist anymore. They've they've scrapped it completely, um, so it's just spell resistance now, is the thing. So against spells, magic resistance, you know, there's still a resistance for that, but it means that just magic damage is always a benefit because it always helps you get over physical resistance. So it is only a benefit to have magic damage now in game three. That's how that's going to work, which is brilliant. I think that's a really nice change, but. For now, I'm going to make sure that Skrulk is, is better in a fight against all this magic uh, nonsense. So, yeah. I think we're going to fight this, right? It's Godok. We haven't fought him before. I think it's time we did. Alright. So. Let's get our play claw catapults all lined up. And you lot can all line up too. And then I'm just going to have these back here. Because, um... I don't know, I just think it looks nice to have these guys on guard, but uh, they're never going to get a, a... They're just going to stand there. <laughs> they're just going to stand there. So. Uh, we can reach them, so I'll just sit and wait. So what is nice is Gorok is incredibly hard to kill, but he has absolutely no magic resistance. You can see he's only got the physical resistance and missile resistance, stupidly high armor you know, incredibly hard to kill. But not to something like Liebe Bubonicus that can just straight up kill him. You know, I just click and he starts dying. It's perfect. And it looks like our artillery is doing a pretty good job too. Lovely. Oh, right, yeah, you should probably be over there, actually. Nice. Oh, by the way, I get this uh, question quite a lot. If you hold shift and then you hold right click... That's, that's what lets you draw path. So hold shift and hold right click. And that does it. So, leave a bubonicus. Go get him. Ow. Rude. Rude much. Okay, good. Everybody get stuck in, please. Oh, chameleon skinks. Interesting. Sorry, chameleon stalkers. Very cool to see. Okay, that's all good stuff. Let's, uh... Ugh. Well, always lost all of our plague monks to that assault. Which is hilarious. Okay, good. Looking good. Now let's use the Rod of Corruption, because that's always good value. Okay. Uh, now, I suppose, 
it's only right that I hit these guys with a pestilent breath. Good. Good stuff. Seems like we've wrapped these guys up pretty quickly. Um, let's aim for these Sora Spears now. Okay, yeah, that's all looking good. <laughs> this is going to be such a nightmare situation for everybody. Poor guys. And wow, this comedian stalks are doing very well against the Plague Monks. And you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Clearly all these um, foul concoctions are having an effect on me. My word. Alright, let's uh, try and pin them down. Alright, you guys pull back. And catapults. Killing flying units. Absolute nonsense, but we seem to be making it work, so. And Godok is doing terribly. Excellent. Do I try and lower his armor? I can lower it by 60, which is actually fairly significant. So, let's try it. It looks like Skrulk is getting good hits on him, too. Although, we haven't lowered his armor, because that didn't cast. Never mind. We didn't need to. Marvelous. <laughs> Wow, we are actually meant to hit some of them. <laughs> well played. Play clock catapults, guys. If you have enough of them, you could use them for any job. How great is that? Marvellous. So, decisive victory. I'll take it. And there we have it. Let's uh, eat the captives. So, Banner of Eternal Flame. That's really good to have, actually. That's very nice. I really like this ability. So, and we have Natty Bubo Sharpshooters, and we have the Pit Fighters of Hell's Deep, and uh, Movable Mountain. Expert Charge Defense and Extra Four Leadership for the Lord's Army. That's actually pretty good, given that, you know, we tend to have quite poor leadership uh, on all of these guys, though Plague Monks arguably have among the better leadership of, of Skaven units, but still, that's something. Extra leadership when attacking as well. And, I mean, got, got away, but fine by me. Uh, now let's have a look. Lord Skrulk. Let's get... I mean, Pestilent Birth is very good. I mean, summoning Plague Monks is lovely. But I do like that you're getting Plague. Plague is just... It's just a very exciting spell. Um, I can't get any closer, can I? I mean, I can kind of get on track, so I'll, I'll start heading this way. The thing is, if Godok heads over here, which he absolutely could, we may have just set him up to to take this. Which is a bit annoying. Okay, well that'll do. If if we lose the Mortuary of Zlaqua, I mean, we've got a lot of food. Maybe we can just get it back to tier 3 nice and quickly. It'll be a shame to have to do that, but... You know, we can do it. Okay, so it looks like he's going back for the Ultra of the Horned Rat again. Because it still has a terrible garrison. So actually, between these two, they could totally have it. Ah, oh dear. Are we having to run back here again? Because I think the Ultra of the Horned Rat is worth more to me than, than this. One more turn and it'll have enough of a garrison that I won't need to babysit it. I mean, I probably will still need to babysit it a little bit, but, you know. Anyway, Taskmaster. Uh, campaign movement range plus 5%. Very nice. And line of sight plus 5%. Very good. Don't let them rest. An idle body is one ripe for corruption. Let them rest. Corrupt them. Uh, so Slice in the Blade has been uh, a very disloyal, but now he's looking great. Nine loyalty. And, uh, wow, we're still suffering attrition, huh? I mean, I, I thought that would just be for the one turn. Apparently not. Well, it'll be fine. Uh, we will get a bunch more troops in a second. Now let's just get a bunch of clan rat spears. Uh, good. To plan buildings from the ground up. That is a strange concept in these parts. It sure is. And this is finally done. So let's build a bigger garrison on it. Uh, I was going to build another pox cauldron, wasn't I? Is that right? Sounds like, sounds like something I'd do. Uh, I would also quite like a Taskmaster's platform, though. 
So let's maybe get that out of the way. And it would be good to get an arcane generator, but maybe I need to wait a second for that. And get that a bit later. And try and get some of this other stuff. Because look, that, I need technology. I need the technology here as well. So do I want to get Eshin stuff, or... I don't really want to get any of that stuff, really. Um, I might want to get this too. This technology. So I can start getting wolf rats with poison. I think that could be quite fun. I, I don't need to get another one of these maxed out, do I? But it's just, I would like to destroy this pox cauldron. I guess arguably that... No, actually, we could make more money. We could make more money than that. If we get rid of that pox cauldron. We can't do anything about it. Settlement's under siege, so, you know. Maybe we won't have that much for mu you know, that one for much longer. Uh, so, okay. Let's build a breeding stock. Okay. Let's build that. Because I want to get some rats, I think. Or at least have the, the option to get some. Because they're a fun unit. So, what have you got for me? Uh, it's whatever. We'll, we'll skip that. Okay. Let's move on. Slicing the blade is strict, because apparently this place isn't the happiest. Oh, it seems quite happy. Don't know why he's strict. Strange. Um, oh, I guess because public order is low. It doesn't matter that it's going up. It's just that it was low to begin with. We can finally start upgrading Oshal, uh, which is great. And Clan Scryer Saboteur. Extra income from sacking settlements, which we never actually do. So, fine, I guess. Um, you move here. And then go to Ambush Stance, and you never know. Maybe we'll catch Gorok. But I think he's just running away from the altar now that it's actually got a garrison. Uh, it actually has a pretty sizable garrison, too. Some of them are Skaven slaves, mind you, but still. Still, it's not bad. Uh, Chant, let's get him uh, Vermintide leveled up, I think. I think I want that. I know, I could be going towards Arcane Conduit, which is generally better. You know, it'll generally be better for us, but... But I'm not doing that for some reason. <laughs> so there. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, what might I want here? Just more clan rats, I think. Just more clan rats will do. Cool. Yeah, that's a... No, actually. No, that won't do. I want to get more sorcerers. I want to get more Plague Priests. Uh, knowledgeable is nice. Just magic, faction-wide, is really good. So, let's level you up. Let's go with... Warp Zone Tokens, Pestilent Breath, Plague Rash, Vermintide, Wither. Blessed with Filth, Evasion. That's right, I'm giving him all the spells. And let's get another Sorcerer. We can get six total. And Sharp Claws. I think it's a bit boring. I'm going to wait another turn, see if there's anything better next turn. We'll just keep looking. Because we can get so many. And I, I should. I should just fill the map with them. And they are attacking that. Uh, can, actually, can I win this? Like, potentially. Just because I can summon so many. So many boys. Do I want to do that? I mean, ten more units? Except that'll take five minutes, because you can only get maybe 30 seconds. Can't be bothered to fight for five whole minutes against this sort of army. Maybe. Maybe. Let's assume I won't last that long and just go six, shall I? So I can keep food high. Um, I'm going to fight it, because I, I just think we need to. I, I really don't want to lose this. Okay, so here we are. So we're going to want to start by setting up these guys and getting rid of those Pterodon Riders. Uh, everyone else <laughs> can hang out over here. And yeah, hopefully we can get rid of uh, Godok. If I can sort of surround him a bit, then we can get some shots into the back of him. Or he won't get the silver shields helping him out, you know? So this seems to be going quite well. Yeah, they're already trying to get out of there. Okay, come on. Throw more of your shurikens. Yeah, you guys do it well. Getting a little bit exploded, but it's fine. Alright, there goes one. And we're taking them down. 
Uh, Skink Chief is shooting at us though, which is a bit annoying. But I think I have something for that. And he's taking some damage. I mean, he has 190 armor currently, which is just obscene. Also, that guy moved because he's chasing our boys. That's very annoying. <laughs> That's very annoying. Okay, you guys are doing great over there. Okay, come on. How are you guys not moving? Move. Jeez. How are they not broken? That's surprising too. Alright, I guess we can try and sandwich then. Come on. Finish him off. Alright, you guys need to get the heck out of there, okay? Let's get the heck out of there. Okay, now we have to run in a bit. Because, um, there we go. I need to make sure our rats will actually land on them. Okay, they're finally starting to go. Now there's only one left. And, yeah, they broke, which is fine. Let's just start chasing them down. Not much ammo left here, unfortunately. Okay, a bit of damage into Godok. Not as much as I would have liked. Oh my god, he's still going. Unbelievable. So, okay, I think Godok's going to be a bit of a bother. <laughs> Something tells me he's going to be a bit of a bother. Let's try and finish these guys off. Good. Alright. Finish him. And we didn't actually get rid of the fire leech bowlers, which is sort of ridiculous. Alright, let's get him. Guys, keep chasing him. Kill him eventually. Presumably. Uh, Alright, we're, we're doing some damage. Not much. And, okay, he has a million everything, so never mind. Let's go attack him. You guys can run away. I mean, why fight him while he's buffed, right? Why bother? Really no need. Oh, they're back. Of course they are. Alright, chase him down. They got 50 speed, we got 46. Crap. Oh. That'll help. <laughs> I'll just keep chasing him. So I think we're going to win this. So he's not buffed anymore, right? No, he's not. So that's fine. Okay, let's go get him. So we did get a nice rear charge into these guys. Just before our units uh, disappeared. Classic. And, okay, Pterodon Rider's coming down now. Good. 1600 health, huh? That's going to stay there for a very long time, isn't it? 1683. It's just going to stay on 1683. <laughs> you guys keep chasing. And how are you guys doing? Still still just chasing them about. I think I just leave the Scave and Slave Slingers to chase them down. And they're uh, not quite out of ammo yet. I'll try and, I'll try and pincer him. Oh, good, he's on 1620 now. He's lost 60 health since we checked in on him. Jesus. Alright. You guys keep chasing. <laughs> 1573. I mean, he'll go down eventually. It's just going to take hundreds of years. Alright, those Scaven Slave Slingers can go away as well. Let's keep the clan rats over here. Because they might actually be able to defeat him. 1496. Ah, good. Looks like we might actually be able to chase these guys down. So we have one more summon left. They're still running. Okay, now they're not. Good. I was going to say, why are, they, why are they still running? So, Godok. We played a Godok campaign, didn't we? I don't remember that campaign particularly well. Oh, I do remember the thumbnail. I was happy with the thumbnail. 
Gorok looked very fetching on the thumbnail. So you guys just keep chasing them. Yeah, they're dead. That's fine. Godok, 14-53. God, he's taking a long time to kill. <laughs> you guys keep chasing. This is going to take a long time. A hell of a long time. Uh, so i got one more summon. So I guess I'll, I'll throw that in the way. Maybe I can, I can stop him. And it's only slaves chasing him, of course. Oh, oh, he didn't like that. He did not like that. That's army losses. Oh, hell yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Balance of power from a menace below. I said dwellers below again, didn't I? A second ago. Menace below. But yeah, menace below actually, actually swung balance of power. Heroic victory. I mean, was it? Okay, so... Uh... I think we're going to eat them. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with Enslave. I think eating them is a bit pointless because it's a garrison anyway. <laughs> we just got an Opal Amulet, which is nice. Oh, we got to fight this. Um, but we are going to have five Menace Blows. So that's good. I could put that up a bit. I could put that up to seven without a food dropping. Um, so let's put it up to seven. And hopefully, hopefully that'll do the job. You know? Maybe. I think most of these are probably going to attack from siege towers, which is going to be a pain. But, in a way, that's a good thing, because it means they'll be really, like, clustered up. Um, so, one thing that's kind of silly is siege towers have a massive disadvantage, where it just sort of, like, just spews out the entire unit right on top of the walls. So, if you have something like Plague Claw Catapults, or Warlock Engineers with Warp Lightning, then you're basically just, like setting them up for the entire unit to be killed in a single attack. So it's actually great that he spent a few turns waiting to attack, because he'll probably have siege towers, and that's probably going to play into our hands. So, should be interesting. Um, but, it's going to be interesting tomorrow, because this is the end of the episode! <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in, um, I'll see you in a whisker. Because of rats. Anyway, laters.